Hi, this is the first course of the modeling luxury interior and what we will going to learn in this course uh, we will learn how to do the modeling of the ornamental borders and the scrolls historic decorative objects and uh, luxury and stylish furnitures before we start this course uh, I would like to tell you actually I hope before you watch these videos but if you didn't make sure in the my website goldencg.com in the modeling section in the modeling living room in this course this is a free and you have read these five uh, lessons from one to five especially the baseboard and the molding which are used for the luxury rooms and I will not explain them again inside this course and another thing is that inside the online course inside the automobile in 3D Max there is one free lesson uh, about how to work with your blueprint picture how to set up them inside the Photoshop and 3D Max so make sure you already have read this and you are ready to move to uh, luxury interior in 3D Max I will start from the most basic course and uh, very simple border which you can see in this picture so I will go to my 3D Max and I need to bring this picture as my blueprint so I can go to my utilities and asset browser inside the asset browser you can go to your folder and this picture I will provide you as a project file here it is so I will create a plan and right click in the border because I need to know the size of the plan properties so I can see the size I will change the size of my plan to have the same aspect I know it to exactly be the same at least it need to have uh, I need to keep the aspect ratio so because this size is so big I will choose uh, for example uh, 684 I will choose uh, 600 uh, 68.4 and the width 80.7 and I don't need any segment and after that I can click and drag this to my plan okay I can close this well and uh, I bring it is better always I work in the center in the origin of my max so I will bring it right click on the spinner to be in the uh, to change it to the zero and uh, hit F3 to see it as a smooth and highlight and hit the J button to don't see this white border around in our course we will use the different techniques to create uh, uh, these ornamental shapes so what you will learn now maybe you can use in other works and what you will learn in the other lessons also you can use for creating this shape so I will start with the most simple one and it is using just a line what I will do is creating this line around before I start drawing 
uh, one thing is that I don't want to create any smooth or busier segment a busier vertex so I make sure that the both initial and drag are set to corner so start drawing where there is a, a straight line you need less vertex and uh, where there is a curvy sh curvy shape you need to uh, create more vertices is almost similar to the theory of the SSL or what called a small straight line A small straight line to create the round shape I will not care so much for two reasons because I want to do it fast uh, I don't want the video become so long and the second is that after creating we can change them so at the first just create the schematic of the our work because we will apply the a smooth modifier mesh smooth or turbo smooth so we don't need to create any smooth vertex so I'm just creating something in rush and uh, sometimes when you are creating because you are zooming you have this problem that you cannot uh, you need you don't want to cut your work and start again you can use a scroll to zoom out but if you need to zoom in also you can use the I button just push the I it will move to the next almost bring the center of the page for you so I'm zooming push the eye to see my around better I'm using the less I need to use the more vertices just as I said I want to rush it to finish and I don't want to cut any part of the video as well I'll make sure you can see all the video all the what I am doing we will have some part of our course which is about talking theory of the modeling uh, which will help you to understand the shape and decide what technique you should use okay this has been done and uh, I can actually even hide this I don't need so this is our border after this finish you can come to the editable spline 
it is already line and line has a disable SP line and see if need anything change or any part you did some mistakes you can change it but make sure that you just have one yellow vertex the yellow vertex it means the start point or also the end point so if you have more than one it means there is one disconnection in your uh, where in your lines even if I choose a number you can see the number one is this and the, the one beside is the last one so it is also the end and a start point well for creating this to the 3d shape we have several options one is a, because this is a just shape so we can use a garment modifier we can just right click convert it to the editable poly and we can use a, another modifier which is a HSDS uh, HSDS modifier the short form for the hierarchical subdivision surfaces which I will use actually for this modeling and uh, why I am not going to use the some old stuff such as uh, just right click convert it to editable poly it already made it uh, as a tree as a 3d shape 3d object and if I select them and extrude them I can extrude for example one but the problem is that I cannot I think I did an extrude problem is that I cannot use the turbo smooth for them because there is not any connection between these uh, faces in the next lesson I will talk about how to create with this way but for this because this is a, just a very simple border maybe used for the door or the wall so I will not make uh, trouble and just use a simple way I will use the uh, HSDS is a finishing tools it will create the triangle faces and make the connection between all the vertices so now I can right click convert it to editable poly just select all of them and extrude them one or maybe just two okay and now can apply the turbo smooth use isolate mode so this is the first border that we have been created and I could also for example if this is the wall and I will use the same color for them so it can be mixed with my wall so it is the most simple way that you can create a border in the next video we will learn how to create more complex one